Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. So today in this video, we have Pranjali Trivedi with us and she'll be sharing her successful placement story of getting an internship into Nutanix. So hi Pranjali, please introduce hi. yourself. Okay, uh, I'm Pranjali Trivedi and um, currently I'm pursuing BTEC in Information Technology from VIT Valor and uh, I am in fourth year right now. And uh, I completed my secondary and senior secondary from Kota, Rajasthan, and that's my native place. Uh, about my te technical interests, I would say I have a keen interest in uh, network troubleshooting and data science. In technical skills, I have a moderate level knowledge on uh, Python uh, networking and SQL. Uh, for um, Non-technical skills or say hobbies, uh, I have a deep interest in reading books and dancing, obviously. Then, um, yeah, that's it. That's it about me. And that's really nice to know. So I'd like to tell all of you viewing this video that uh, she landed into her dream job that she always wanted to go into. So we would like to know more about it and how was your interview experience and what were the rounds all about. So it would be great if you could give us a walkthrough. <laughs> Okay, sure. So uh, my placement, um, it, the Nutanix visited VIT on 5th of August 2021. And um, it, it had six rounds for selection process. The first round included uh, the shortlisting on the base of, basis of resume. The second round was a technical exam round and the rest four were the interviews. So in the first round, around 1000 students got uh, selected for sitting on the second round. Second round was technical uh, exam, which had around 60 questions for 60 minutes. It involved mainly basic hardware and networking questions and mostly of uh, computer architecture, which we are very familiar for our, uh, during our inter uh, test engineering. Uh, the second round, uh, so the first round wasn't a big uh, thing for me because technically it was, it was quite a basic round. The second round was a technical round and around 170 students qualified for the second round, which was the technical interview. Uh, for uh, first okay, interviews were themselves segregated into four parts. Two were the technical interviews. One was uh, HR round and the last was a director round. So the technical rounds, technical interview, they were mostly like my job profile includes troubleshooting. So it was mostly based on uh, how persistent you are while solving a problem. So they used, they gave me a situation and then I, I had to solve it, like uh, starting from the very base, like check your connectivity from that to going to the ethernet cable and then, you know, exceeding to that point. Then they used to cross question like, okay, if this happens, what will you do? If that happens, what will you do? So you have to be very persistent about it. That's what my job was. So they were very keenly interested in noting that. Uh, the two technical rounds just modified me and prepared me for my job. And yeah, the interviews made me very comfortable. So I wasn't that scared for that round. But yeah, it was a bit tough. The third round was HR round. And HR round were the basic questions. What, how do you see yourself in five years? And do you actually know what the role you are uh, getting into? And then, uh, you know, basic, uh, basic just uh, knowing your soft skills that's that was HR round and the last round was a director round here was the you know <laughs> it was the most difficult round I would say because first of all you know that the person sitting in front of you is the director of that company so it's one factor which comes in your mind oh my god this is the director if I get selected I'll be working under him or her yeah and that's so that true. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, that was the most difficult round. But yeah, though the director was very nice and he made me feel very comfortable, but still that anxiety factor was there. The questions, director round itself had two parts. One was a technical director round and the other was the HR director round. So technical, uh, the same questions which were asked in technical rounds, more on the presence of mind type of question. Like he gave me a situation, a whole lot big situation. And then he asked me, okay, then what you, what you will do? So if you have heard the question, you'll be like, okay, no, you said this. So might be this, this might be the problem. So it was more on the presence of mind kind of thing. Even if you don't know the answer, presence of mind would have played a very important role. And the HR round again involved the same thing that do you know what job it is and are you ready to be a part of such company which involves uh, like a huge working hours and a huge 
uh, work pressure. So that was the entire journey for that two days, seventh of seventh of August at eleven at eleven p.m. at night. uh we got a result for getting selected it was like a dream come true yeah i can see that from your <laughs> excitement <laughs> right now also when you are saying so it's it's really nice to know that you got placed in the domain that you wanted to so it's kind of a motivation for all the viewers that don't lose hope and try to stay motivated right so uh so since placements are also uh, keep on going so what are your advices like tips and suggestions for all the people who are going to sit or are currently sitting for placements for any company okay so like for the third years why right now in the third year for last second semester so i would say first narrow down the companies for the job that you are interested in you have to narrow it down like okay there are a, a hell lot of jobs and even if you are interested in a very small little bit of job little bit of thing it have a job on that name okay so first narrow down the job which you want then narrow down the companies that you want to go okay it can be hundreds of companies it can be two company three company it doesn't matter okay just narrow down on that then prepare accordingly okay knowing everything does not help but they, like you have to be very particular about it no i want to do this for this many years of my life because this is the time when you have to segregate you have to be very clear okay this is what i want to do for the rest of my life so the first thing is narrow down your company second thing is prepare for that prepare accordingly for that just if you are interested in data analysis go for python do be very good at python you don't have to be very good at java for that okay and companies will come trust me companies come for every field okay so after preparing then when there's a very common saying that 50% is the content and the rest 50% is your presentation presentation works a very very important role i can't emphasize more on that presentation is like if you are not that good at technical presentation will take you where you want so very like uh, interact with your uh, with your uh, you know uh, friends with your uh, seniors ask them to interview you you interview them you know work on presentation skills so stand in front of mirror and just ask yourself questions i think that will work the best nobody is going to judge you so pre work on presentation skills so these are the three things which you have to keep in mind while uh, preparing yeah that's really true because i could relate to it because uh, you know when you get rejected for sometimes then you need to actually see that what were the things that you were lagging so i also did the same thing as you said you know taking up talking to seniors and then taking up some kind of mock interview standing in front of the mirror and then seeing how you present yourself that is really very important and truly said that uh, also uh, you know many companies come to hire but uh, not all are the companies uh, in which you can get placed right so there are many instances where you have to face rejections uh, maybe continuously for many times so it's it's really hard I, i know everyone must have felt some kind of rejection at some point of time so uh, you know sometime people get depressed or they lose motivation so uh, what would be your advice to such people that would keep them motivated and keep them fighting because you may not actually get placed into uh, like a particular company in the first go right you may have to face 10 rejections maybe then you get your company so you know you need to stay spirited during that process so uh, any suggestions for keeping up that motivation yeah for that i would say that this was my 16th or 17th company i got rejected for 16 companies you can you can have a think of like so rejection is a part of life you have to be very you know uh, you have to think that way that this is not my life this is just part a small little part of my career that's it nothing more than that and the second thing is rejection is like uh, it, it's it's a, a staircase to climb up to success so every time i got rejected like uh, i even got rejected on the first test itself the first exam i even got rejected for that interviews were there okay interviews are very common to get rejected but on the first level it's like oh my god i'm done but keep that in mind that every day is a new start don't keep this in mind that 10 companies rejected me say uh, amazon rejected me then how can uh, another company like microsoft will hire me 
don't keep this in mind okay every company has a different basis of picking you up so start from the very zero for every company for every day give your best each day don't ever care about what is gonna happen if this doesn't come my way because you work hard rest leave everything to god just keep that in mind do you work hard leave everything to god yeah so that thanks. will yeah that will keep you motivated surely i hope this advice helps all the viewers because at some point of time we need some source of motivation right <laughs> everyone would admit that so uh, by this so uh, i think we come to the end of this video pranjali if you have any message for all of the viewers and all of those who are preparing for preparations uh, that could be uh, appreciated okay uh, so uh, i would say that be confident confidence is very important for anything not only placement in everything confidence plays very important role and then uh, there's a there's again a great saying that the thinking that guides your knowledge is more important than the knowledge you actually have so the attitude which you have is very important towards yourself and towards your work so uh, I, and another thing is do not sell yourself short you might think okay i'm not capable of this no you are capable of anything you think you are okay so don't ever sell yourself short just believe in it no you can do it and you will trust me you will so just believe in yourself and all the very best for the upcoming interviews which you are going to face that's it thank you everyone for watching this video and thanks pranjali for coming up and sharing all your placement experience and the motivation tip that you gave so we'll end this video here thank you again bye thank you navya bye bye